Hi guys, welcome to this video and today we're going to be going over A-level biology microscope calculations. Now before we get into this, I just want to mention that we have actually posted some other videos relating to A-level biology microscopes and I'll insert the button to this in the top corner so you can go and access them. First off, what is magnification? Magnification is how many times larger an object appears compared to its actual size. Different microscopes have different total magnifications. For example, a simple light microscope has a total magnification of around times 1,500. Compared to that of a transmission electron microscope of up to 50 million. We will dive into magnification calculations next. The magnification triangle. The magnification triangle is a simple equation triangle you can use to remember the microscope equations. Here you can see the magnification triangle. The image size is at the top and this is the size of the specimen on the picture you're given. And then actual size is at the bottom and this is the actual size of the specimen. And magnification is also at the bottom and this this is obviously the magnification of the microscope used. A good way to remember it is that the triangle spells I am. I is at the top and am is at the bottom. When doing these calculations, it is extremely important that all the values you are given or calculate have the same units. Units common in microscopy include millimetres, micrometres and nanometers. To get from millimetres to micrometres, you times by thousands and to get from micrometres to nanometers, you also times by thousand. Now here is a worked example. Here shows a viral cell that causes a disease called blue tongue. The microscope used for this image has a total magnification of 100,000 times. Work out the actual size of the nucleus of the cell. So, let's highlight the important information given. We're given the magnification and it's telling us we need to work out the actual size of the nucleus. Now, let's bring in our magnification triangle. So, we know we don't have the actual size of the nucleus, obviously. And we know we've got the magnification and we obviously know we can get the image size by using a ruler. So, what we know is the image size divided by magnification equals actual size by using our triangle. So first of all, we're going to be working out the image size of the nucleus. So we need a ruler for this. So here the nucleus is 2.75 centimeters long. Now next, we work out the actual size. So we know image size divided by magnification is the actual size. So we know the image size is 2.75 centimeters and we're going to divide it by the magnification, which is 100,000. And 2.75 divided by 100,000 is 0 0.000275 centimeters if we convert this value into millimeters micrometers and nanometers we can choose one of these values which looks most appropriate now i've went with the 275 nanometers unless the exam question tells you otherwise you could technically choose any of the other answers but this one looks most neat and that's your answer now we're going to go through our next worked example now this says the micrograph shows a group of animal cells including cell a undergoing mitosis using the scale bar given calculate the actual size of cell a so as you can see there's a scale bar so this is a different sort of microscope calculation question that you will come across in your exams or in your mocks or in practice questions that you do and you need to know how to solve it so first of all, we're going to highlight the keywords, which are scale bar, because we're given a scale bar, the actual size, because we're working out the actual size, and cell A. So first off, we're going to measure the length of the scale bar. And we're going to need a ruler for this, obviously. Now, according to the ruler, the scale bar is 2.5 centimetres long. And as it says on the scale bar, uh, 2.5 centimetres is equal to 5 micrometres. So now we're going to measure the length of the cell. When measuring the length of cells in biology questions, you always try to measure the length of the cell so that the cell is the longest it can be. So we're going to do it this way. Now, the cell is 7.75 centimetres long. Now, you work out how many times bigger the cell is to the scale bar. So what we do is we divide 7.75 centimetres by 2.5 centimetres, which equals 3.1. So now we know the cell's length is 3.1 times larger than the length of the scale bar. Now we calculate the actual length of the cell. So all we do is we do 3.1 times 5 micrometers which equals 15.5 micrometers now that is the actual length of the cell now that's it for this video i really hope you found it useful please give it a like if you found it useful and please consider subscribing to our channel and make sure to check out our channel and make sure to check out our content because we might post some content regarding your other a levels bye bye